Well, people who have contracted and recovered from COVID-19 hold a possible treatment for those still fighting the virus. One St. Vincent Healthcare doctor who recently recovered has donated his convalescent plasma for more than six months now. Q2's Chris DeRose has his story. So plasma is the liquid that your red cells float around in. So what's important about it right now is what we're looking for is convalescent plasma. So that's anyone who had, who has recovered from COVID-19. If they come in and donate their plasma, uh, we take that and we're able to give it to people who have COVID and it kind of gives them a little bit of a head start because that plasma carries your antibodies. So Dr. Kohler comes in once a week since he um, has recovered and donates his plasma. So that goes to patients here in, well, in Montana. Dr. Kohler, what's it like to have COVID-19? Well, it's, it's, it's not a lot of fun. Uh, it's a illness that, uh, well, for me, it was body aches, runny nose, cough, fever, um, and fatigue. Uh, just not a fun illness to have. Why did you st uh, decide to start donating plasma? Well, it's, I know it's one of the possible treatments in the sense, I mean, it's being studied and looked at, and there are some studies that show some promise to it. It's a time-honored way to deal with certain types of infectious diseases that we don't have therapeutics for or vaccines to. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Um, if I've got the antibodies and if it can help somebody else out and if at least clarify whether it's effective as a therapeutic uh, approach, then that's something that can be helpful. I mean, we really don't have great drugs to treat this. We're still waiting on a vaccine. So this may be one of the most promising uh, treatments we have. Uh, how hard is the physical act of, of donating? What? Oh, well, the physical act's pretty easy. I mean, they, they stick your finger for, and, and then they put you in a chair and they, you don't really feel getting stuck with much at all. I mean, and it's about an hour or, in terms of uh, giving the plasma. And you know, there are times it feels a little bit cold going through your veins as they're giving you blood cells back, but it's not an uncomfortable procedure at all. Actually, it's a, it's an hour in the donor chair with Netflix or taking a nap. So that's <laughs> the way I look at it. <laughs> Reporting in Billings, Chris DeRose, MTN News. Thanks, Chris. Now for more information on convalescent plasma and how you could potentially donate, log on to KTDQ.com.